Printed news media has nothing on Ambi. The only thing I would ever listen to or watch. Mostly because it's easy to watch a pretty girl, but a pretty girl who's smart is even easier to watch. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to an interview with Eagles of Death Metal. How are ya? Excellent, darling. That is good to hear. And thank you for saying the name right. Everyone says the Eagles, but we're just Eagles of Death Metal. They put a the in front of it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Ah. You are so good. Why, I thank you. you. I try. Well, you're now touring North America, and I know you were actually in Europe beforehand. So, how have the shows been treating you? This is the coolest job in the world. I mean, honestly, I get asked that question a lot, and it's always going to be the same answer. The worst days in this job are better than the best days in most any other life. A lot of people want to do what I get to do, and, and, and I get to, and I think it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, so, it's been, there's, I, how can you describe something that's perfect? Yeah. Well, other you, than yeah. perfect. Very true. You've been playing a lot of shows globally, so are there any uh, cities that you hold near and dear to your heart? Wherever you return to them, you're always really glad to be back. Well, my sister lives in this particular town. Oh, okay, Toronto. And she nice. owns a bar that is uh, named after one of my songs, Cherry Cola's Rock and Rolla. It's one of the greatest bars ever. And uh, this place is particularly near and dear to my heart because it has, A, some of the finest women the world has ever seen, internationally recognized fact as the location of some of the most beautiful women in the world. A lot of fans bring that up, which is actually very it's funny. It's a true story. I think it's mostly because they're so amorously willing. <laughs> because in the dark, every girl looks like Maureen O'Hara, and the worst blowjob I ever had was amazing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that kind of sums up the philosophy there. All right. Well, you're known for having some pretty mental live shows over the years. I know we've covered a few of them, too, on our website. So for you, uh, what particularly makes a great live show? It's, it, it sounds corny, but it's a two-part thing. It's the audience and the band. And it's a piston. And when I push on them, they push back. And then... It's a... Uh, a lot of bands come out and jack off for everyone to see, yes. and a lot of bands want to fuck everybody in the room. And our band just tries to fuck everybody in the room. <laughs> Pardon the language, of course. No, no, don't I mean worry. that artistically. Yes, very much so. <laughs> but being that we're at Riot Fest, uh, Riot being the key word there. Thank you. Yeah. Um, for your live shows, what's one of the crazier moments you could share with our viewers? Somebody threw dildos on the stage once. Okay. Big, giant. Because I made it, I did an interview where I talked about the... Uh, the long dong whatever this fu and I, somebody went out and bought them and I don't know what um, that was pretty wild um, did you get hit with it was that yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 getting to see Kate Moss completely naked backstage was an amazing another highlight yeah and uh, getting to hug George Clinton and he recognizing who I was was one of the highest points of my life <laughs> well, on October 2nd you're releasing a new record Zipper Down and all of your titles have or all your records have amazing titles like Hard On for the last yes. one, which was released actually back in 2008. So how long have you been working on this new material for? Well, you know, it took us a long time, I guess, to put it out. We, only, we recorded it over the course of two years, but Joshua and I actually spent an actual time about seven days. Because really? We were That's it? fucking around the... If you, studio isn't a place to waste time, and we don't write in the studio. I write all the songs, and I write them long before we get there. Studio is for real science and, like, you know... The difference between a magician and a wizard. If you can't do it in an amount of time that's small, then you can't do it at all. I was looking at the track listing for the forthcoming release, and you actually cover Save a Prayer by Duran Duran. I'm a massive New Wave fan, so when I saw that, I'm like, this is going to be amazing. So why Have did you... Have you heard it? No, I haven't. I'll give you a copy. Okay, beautiful. Thank you very much. So why did you decide to actually put your spin on that New Wave classic? Well, I love that era of music, both Josh and I do. But more importantly, have you ever seen the uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon where food, the odor, grabs him by the nose and pulls him? No. Well, I've seen that song do that to chicks, so that's why we picked it. <laughs> well, who are some of your favorite bands from that era? Well, it's back and forth. I like punk rock, so like Black Flag, whatever, but I love Rolling Stones from that era. I love the church. Nice. I, uh, I love the church. I love Echo and the Bunnymen playing today. I love Howard Jones. You know, I love George Michael so much. Oh my gosh, me too. I'll play you my cover of, uh, of uh, Careless Whisper. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> There's a new single that you've shared, and the artwork for it and the video is very Star Trek inspired. So, are you Trekkies at heart? Yeah. You are? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we grew up on it. Our parents were Trekkies. But I also thought it, was, it would be funny uh, to get Joshua to look like Captain Kirk. <laughs> 
but did he willingly change everything? What, what and... the theme was there was dynamic duos. That's supposed to be Captain Kirk and Spock. And then in the album, it's going to be like us as Thelma and Louise. <laughs> us. It's really funny, you know, us as Adam and Eve. Us as a cowboy and Indian. As Electro Woman and Dinah Girl. Okay. So you have like, who's one of your favorite dynamic duos? I know you mentioned a couple, but if you had to pick one. Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah? Or uh, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. Okay, very nice. I know that you have a very busy day today, so. It ain't to hard wrap... to make time for you, baby. Oh, I thank you. Well, just to wrap things up for our viewers who are going to be watching and for your fans, right into that camera, um, what would you like to say to all of them who will be viewing? Um, I would like to say I love you very much and don't ever believe that Obama was born in America. <laughs> That wraps everything up. Just a massive thank you for your time today. Thank you, baby. Thank you. And All remember, awesome. everyone, you can visit us at amusicvlogia.com. We also have interviews, features, and much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time.